Hello everyone and welcome to another card video. Today I'm using Honey Bee Stamps Busy Bees stamp set and Beautiful Sentiments. I'm going to take this Canson XL watercolor paper and tape it down with some delicate surface painters tape. I believe this is made by Frog Tape. And I'm, I'm trying to do two at once here. I'm trying to get multifunctional. I'm going to be using my Gonzai Tambi watercolors that is new to me. This is the first time, well, not the first time I've played with them, but the first time I've used them on a card. And I'm doing like an ink smushing technique. So I'm just placing some of the paint on my piece of packaging adding a little bit of water with my distress um, well my mini mister and repeating that process over and over until I get the color saturation color saturation um, that I want as you can see I'm making a pretty good mess and I'm taking my heat gun and trying to, I guess, like manipulate the paint a little bit and, and dry it at the same time. I feel like if you're patient, you can get a good amount of color saturation with this technique, but you really have to either dry it manually or wait and be patient and, and then add more color. So on this second piece, I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm going to do a wet on wet technique. So as you can tell, I wet the watercolor paper and now I'm adding my paint um, with the exact same colors. So it'll be a slightly different look. Again, if you either patiently wait for it to dry or manually dry it with your heat tool um, and then go back in with more color it'll be a higher concentration of color so now I'm using some green I'm trying to make a background here so it's going to be blue sky and green ground or grass and um, the ink smushing I love the look of the ink smushing so I'm just trying to add additional color I think I cheated a little bit and put a little bit on my brush right there and moved it around. So again, I'm going to do wet on wet with the same exact green on that right uh, on the right side and just try to get a little bit different technique. So I am taking these Busy Bees by Honey Bee Stamps and I'm stamping them in Memento Tuxedo Black because we're going to Copic, we're going to do some quick Copic coloring. And so I'm stamping them out. I'm using Y32, 35, 38 for the orange part of the bee or the yellow part of the bee. And I'm just doing simple, simple shading. And then this is C9, C7, C5 for the black, the black stripes. So I'm taking B000 and BG, I think BG000. And I'm just using this to make the wings look transparent. Just doing a quick shading. So here's my two pieces that have now dried and you have to still very delicately pull off this tape. And this is the two different, um, I guess, they're very similar and different. So I'm gonna use this ink smushing one for my card today. This is Blueprint MFT's Blueprint One Die that I use often and we're gonna, heat emboss some of the flowers from the Busy Bees stamp set. And I'm just direct to the background with this. I'm using Hero Arts Unicorn White pigment ink and Simon Says Stamp D3 
Detail White Embossing Powder. It's neat to have it um, on this Epicurean board because one, you can tape it down to reduce the warping of your paper. And two, you can really easily get off any excess embossing powder. So I'm really liking this Epicurean board. As you can see, I added some additional tape so that I could prevent some warping. So now I'm, I stamped uh, the same flower on some Inka Dinka Doo masking paper because I want to add some additional leaves or flower petals behind this flower. I'm just going to do it the exact same way. That's the white pigment ink and the white heat embossing. And then after that, after I've heat embossed everything, we're going to paint them with the Gonzai Tombies. This was really fun painting, just no pressure, just taking the paints. I activate the paints with some water, spraying some water in there and then um, picking it up with my brush. And I'm just literally painting these flowers. There's no shading, there's no pressure. I'm just having a ball. Just using the white um, paint from this 36 color Gonzai Tombi set. This white square that you see on the left, that's a piece of ceramic tile that I use to, as like a palette for when I watercolor. Um, you'll see me mix um, a different shade in a few minutes. Um, I did go, I did wait for this white to dry and add co additional color to make it a little bit um, less transparent. I went for a more subtle uh, background that was what I wanted to do, and but I wanted it to be a little more white, so I was patiently waiting and made it a little bit thicker. So now here I'm taking this more orange shade and a more yellow shade and mixing it together on my little palette here to do the little the centers I think they look like daisies I'm not a flower person if there's a flower in this house I'm gonna kill it it doesn't for real I have the blackest thumb you could ever you could ever have so I'm not good with flowers I wish I could I wish I could but I'm just not <laughs> so um, I'm just making them match a little bit like the bee. So it's a little bit closer color to what I Copic colored the bees. But it's fun to make your own shades. So now I'm going to let that dry and paint my flower stems with this darker green. I learned that you have to be careful because sometimes too much paint is a bad thing. I enjoy watercoloring when I've heat embossed because it, it creates that well for your um, watercolor to sit in, but um, it's a very shallow well and if you have too much paint, you will color out of the lines. <laughs> so here I am fixing that. So now I'm taking the beautiful um, honey cuts and it cuts out uh, different uh, bees, B-E-E. -E. And I'm just doing partial die cutting here. I've cut out the top portion of the bee sentiment. I'm gonna cut down um, into a sentiment strip and I'm just using this MFT word window um, as kind of a guide. I want to have a sentiment strip, but I want the B E E to be cut out. I'm just making it a little wider there, make sure it fits. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut out this strip of cardstock, hopefully straight, as straight as I can, right up to where I partial die cut the B E E. And there you go erasing the pencil marks. 
and I'm just using, I think it's Simon Says Stamp Black. I think that this is the blackest cardstock that I have. So I'm taking the white pigment ink by Hero Arts and stamping um, B-E-E, -E, the B, B-E-E. -E. <laughs> and uh, I needed to put it on a background so I could see it. And I'm going to white heat emboss this as well. Voila. So now I'm going to add um, the sentiment, who you are, because I really, really need to tell myself this sometimes and just stick to yourself and um, just be who you are. So I really was inspired by myself to create that sentiment. So I'm using some uh, half inch score tape to put this piece of fun foam on the back of my front panel to pop it up. And some Scotch 3M foam tape to pop up both the sentiment strip and the little bees. And I cut out that little red heart also. These bees are adorable. I love them. It takes me back to my longer burger days. <laughs> and um, I'm going to take some black Nouveau drops to create uh, a little bit of a tail. Um, the clips at the end of this video are from our little mini getaway to Ocean City, Maryland for a hot rod weekend. So I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy the little clips at the end. And I'll see you next time.